Okay, I absolutely love this from Kelton Johnson. He is just straight up telling the absolute truth, just laying it all on the line. I, I like this. I, I, I like this a lot. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? All right, all right. So, can I be honest? I, I want to be honest with you guys. Some of you really need to make up your mind. I mean, really, just make up your mind. There are so many people that have been upset when it comes to the San Antonio Spurs saying that they're um, going to attempt to win. Um, there's been people upset with Popovich saying that they're not necessarily a championship caliber team. It's people all over the place, all over the spectrum. And I know that none, no Spurs fan is a monolith, okay? We're all a little bit different. But good God, man, some people will contradict themselves in the in the same tweet thread i mean i've just noticed it okay i'm not calling anybody out or ne necessarily by name but oh my god I i've definitely seen it um but you guys know my take my take on this has always been the exact same i want the san antonio spurs to lose so we can get a really great pick but at the same time i do want the players to uh play their hardest those things aren't mutually exclusive. You can want both things at the same time, okay? I want them to play hard. I want the players to play hard, do their best. But at the same time, I know that they're young and I'm perfectly content with us losing and tanking, if you want to call it that, for us to try to get uh, Victor Wimbayama or some of the other guys that are uh, in that lottery range, um, top five range. But hey, that's besides the point. And here's the thing though. This is what I absolutely love. So I'm going to go ahead and play this from Keldon Johnson right after I talk about some merch. ClanTheMerchFan.com, link in the description, okay? Go support your boy. <laughs> ClanTheMerchFan.com. Um, this is the October release. All right, okay, enough of that. All right, so let's go ahead and play this, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. This is a really short clip from Keldon, but I, I love the sentiment. I mean, we're going out there to win. I feel like uh, we're capable of winning. I feel like we're not, we not backing down from anybody. I feel like... Uh, Whoever put it in front of us, that's who we're going to go get after. And I feel like um, we're not taking the back seat to no one. And that's all 82 games. Woo. I mean, we go. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, here's the thing, okay? Now, you hear that, uh, and you're like, what the heck? Up. What the heck? I thought that they were going to tank because I genuinely seen people say this. Like, I thought the Spurs were going to tank. Guys, the players and what the organization does sometimes don't necessarily coincide like you want the players to play hard you want the players to go out there and lay it on the line that's what you want but at the same time when it's all said and done it's not necessarily up to them whether or not they win or lose you get what i'm saying like this team is just too young to win a bunch of games it's, it's just it's 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 borderline impossible but i don't want the players themselves to believe that it's impossible also why would Keldon Johnson? Why would Keldon Johnson care about tanking? Like seriously, why, why would Keldon Johnson? Why would a lot of these young guys care about tanking? They, they, it's not like their job is just set in stone. I mean, right now Keldon Johnson, he's on a great team-friendly deal, but he has a diminishing contract. Why would he care about this? Why would he care about the Spurs tanking? He's gonna go out there. He's gonna play as hard as he's gonna try to win games. And that's what you want, okay? I think that that's perfectly fine. I, I I don't know where people come from, but what he's saying here, this is no different than all season last season. So like a lot of people talk about how bad we were last season, which we were, but at the same time, we didn't lose games by a huge margin by any means. And I think that we're gonna see some of that this season as well. I don't think it's gonna be a bunch of blowouts. Spurs are gonna lose some games, quite a few games, but I, I think that they're going to be able to try or attempt to be competitive and be there. And then the fourth quarter is when we'll probably just lose. Um, but as we can see here, like, look at these losses. I mean, starting off the season, 102 to 96 to Denver, 100, you, you lost by 10 against the Milwaukee Bucks, who were uh, champions. Uh, you went into overtime with the Lakers and you lost by four. Uh, you lost to Dallas by five. Like, in almost every single game is like this. If you go back and watch, or go back and just look at everything, 109 to 108, you lost by one against Dallas, and it was over and over and over again. It was a rarity when the San Antonio Spurs actually got legitimately blown out. Like, we can see here, Minnesota, that's kind of a blowout, 115 to 90. Not kind of, that is a blowout. But then you go against Phoenix, and you lost by four. It was a lot of this, okay? Um, a lot of games in which the Spurs were within you know, 10, 12 points or whatnot. 
And yeah, it just came down to just not being good enough. And I think that that's what we're going to see this season, that they're just not going to be good enough. And I think that that's perfectly fine. But I like this mentality. Not only is Keldon Johnson saying this, Josh Primo is saying it as well. And some people are saying that this is like contradictory to what Popovich has said, because Pop said that they're not going to win a, a championship. I don't think that that's the same. I, I I think it's a little different, nor do I think it has any type of effect on the team whatsoever. Uh, I, I think Pop is just being honest, and I think Keldon's being honest, and I think that those two things are perfectly fine. Um, so I absolutely love this, though. Um, this is just who Keldon Johnson is, and even, like I said, if you go back and you look at these games, he fought throughout all of them, and, a, and, and quite a few of them were just tough losses and, and even the wins were pretty tough but just just tough losses in which the spurs would be there all game and the fourth quarter would come and they just can't they just can't keep up um so and i think it'll be the same thing we're just way too young to win uh, a bunch of games I, I just don't see that happening but i i do think we have a good squad i think we have a versatile squad and i am looking forward to seeing uh you know how they play this season this is going to be the most fun i've had watching the spurs for a long time. I have not been crazy about our offense for a while, but I'm actually excited going into this season because I actually get to see development. And we'll we'll sit back and we'll see like sparks from Malachi. We'll see sparks from Sohan. Um, and we'll be able to kind of have more of a clear, concise uh, view of the future uh, going forward. So I'm excited for this season. I, I'll, I said probably, I'm, I'm catching every game. I am catching every game of this season. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm hyped for it. Um, but yeah, anyways, yeah, that, that, that's my point. My whole point is they played hard all last season. I expect nothing different this season, um, but we're way too young. And if we're being completely honest, um, it took a lot of DeJounte Murray saves near the end of these games as well for us to be close. Um, so not necessarily having that safety net might be not good. But then again, Devin Fazell could take a big step. And I'm sure that Pop is going to allow him to kind of be the guy um in the fourth quarter right now while josh primo and everyone else is developing so we'll see we'll see who knows who knows we'll see we'll see who knows i'll give it you guys later if you want to support the channel as always uh clan the merch fan.com link in the description for that um but yeah i'll give it you guys later man until next time uh deuces